Hello everybody, you are watching Barbershop Book Storytime with Alvin Irby. That's me. Today's story is a classic. Do you know what a classic is? A classic is something that is kind of old, but also something that a lot of people really, really love. Now, usually you can see all the words perfectly, but today things are kind of flipped around a little bit. So if you see some words that look a little backwards, it's because they are. We've been having some kind of technical difficulties today. The story that I'm going to be sharing with you all today is called The Snowy Day. And if you look at the pictures, you can see that there's a little boy out in the snow and he's looking at his steps. Do you see his steps? His footsteps in the snow. This story kind of lets you know what the story is going to be about just by the title. The title of this story is called The Snowy Day. So kind of lets you know what to expect. Well, let's hop into this really cool story. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. And so if you look, you can see Peter. He's looking out the window and he's looking at all the snow. The snow is covering everything. So have you ever looked outside and seen snow covering everything? Well, that's exactly what Peter saw. Now, I have a question for you. If you looked outside and you saw snow everywhere, what would that make you want to do? Would you want to crawl in bed under your covers and stay nice and warm? Or would you want to put on your big snow boots or just regular boots and walk out into the snow to play? Well, I think you might know what Peter wants to do. It says that after breakfast, he put on his snowsuit. Peter has a snowsuit. I wonder what a snowsuit is. I bet it's some type of suit that protects you from the snow. So you can play as long as you want without getting wet or cold. Because if there's snow outside, it's probably really cold. Because snow needs cold air in order to not melt. Well, the snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. So someone in Peter's neighborhood, they piled the snow so high on the sides of the sidewalk. Why did they move the snow out of the way? Well, so people could walk by because can you walk on a mountain of snow? Well, I guess you could walk on a mountain of snow, but it would be kind of hard. You would have to go really, really snow to make sure that you're keeping safe. Um, but if someone moves all the snow out of the way and it just kind of feels like a normal sidewalk, well, then you can walk a lot safer and easier. Let's see what happens next. Crunch, crunch crunch his feet sank into the snow he walked with his toes pointing out like this and it shows you a picture of how his toes look when they were pointing out did you see them his footsteps show that his feet are pointing out he walked with his toes pointed in 
like this. And on this page, look at his toes. They're pointing in. So the first page, they're pointing out. And then he's pointing his toes in. It looked like he's making different designs in the snow with his feet. Do you do things like that when it snows outside? Do you make designs with your feet? I've even seen people who write words inside of the snow. I think that's really cool. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. I have a question. It says that he made tracks in the snow. How many lines do you need in order to make tracks? Do you need one line? Or do you need two lines? Well, what normally moves on tracks? Mm, normally a train or like the subway. So let's see how many lines Peter made in the snow. Yep, two lines. But how did he make them? He drug his feet in the snow. Let's see what happened. Oh, wow. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What do you think he found that was sticking out of the snow? Was it a shoe? Mm, probably not. What do you think he found? What do you think Peter found sticking out of the snow? If you were walking outside and there was snor snow <laughs> as far as the eye could see, what do you think you could find sticking out of the snow? Could you find a bucket? Could you find a TV? Could you find a stick? I bet Peter found a stick sticking out of the snow. Let's see what happens next. Whatever he found sticking out of the snow, do you see what it did? It created a third line because he only had two, but then he had three lines. Let's see what happens next. Oh, I guessed it. Look, it was a stick. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> Do you see Peter in his snowsuit? What color is Peter's snow snowsuit? It looks funny. It has something sticking off of the hood. Do you see it? it come, it's coming out of his head like this. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. What happens if you smack a snow-covered tree? Does the snow that's on the tree, that's on the limbs, that's on the branches, that's on the leaves, if there are leaves, do you think all the snow will just stay there if you smack the tree with a stick? Probably not. The snow's probably gonna fall down everywhere. I wonder if the snow falls down on Peter. It does look like maybe there's a little snow that might be falling down. Let's see what happens. <laughs> he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. And look what happened. You see the older boys throwing snow? They're having a snowball fight. And then look at Peter. Oh, no. It looks like maybe he got hit with a snowball. Well, it's getting warm now, so there's not a lot of snow happening outside. But 
when it does get cold, if it snows where you're at, you have to be really safe when you're having a snowball fight. <laughs> Guess what Peter did next? It says, so he made a smiling snowman. Have you ever made a smiling snowman? Peter made one. And if you look really, really close, guess what you see? The snowman has a smile. That's cool. And he made angels. What kind of angels did he make? I bet you guessed it. Snow angels. Do you see it? It seems like Peter has been outside playing in the snow for a long time. Why do you think he's still outside? Do you think he still feels warm? Why do you think he might feel warm? It's probably because he's wearing a red what? A red snowsuit. And so a snowsuit protects you from the cold and from the wet of the snow and keeps you safe and healthy. Do you see Peter making his snow angels? He's having so much fun out in the snow. Let's see what happens next. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. Wow. Heaping. That means a lot and a lot and a lot of snow. And look, if you look closely, you can see Peter. He's climbing up this mountain of snow. Whoa. It looks really tall. If you're ever playing outside with snow, you want to make sure your parents are around um, just in case you slip and fall in the snow. It's really important to be safe. And guess what Peter did after he climbed up this huge mountain of snow? Then guess what he did? And then he slid all the way down. You know what it reminds me of? Kind of like a slide at the park because you have to climb up the stairs and then do what? Then you can slide all the way back down. And that's exactly what Peter did with this big mountain of snow. He looks like he was having so much fun. Do you see him sliding down the hill? I kind of wish that I had a big hill of snow that I could slide down right now. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm. So he took the snowball and he packed it just like this. So he could make a really strong snowball. He packed it round and firm. Firm means like hard, you know, like if something's firm. And put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says that Peter packed a snowball really tight and firm. And then he put it in his pocket. I have a question. Should you put snowballs in your pocket what do you think will happen to a snowball if you put it in your pocket? That's exactly where Peter put the snowball that he made. He packed it really round and firm. And then he put the snowball in his pocket. He, when he was inside the house, he was talking to his mom. And he told his mom all about his adventures while he took off his wet socks. How do you think his socks got wet? 
probably from playing out in the snow for a long, long time. And there's Peter talking to his mom. Do you think his, he told his mom about the snowball that he put in his pocket? I bet he didn't tell his mom. Maybe it was just a secret for him. Before he got into bed, he looked into his pocket. Why, why do you think Peter looked into his pocket before he went to sleep when he got in bed? Why do you think he looked in his pocket? And what do you think he found when he looked in there? His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Remember, after Peter played outside, he made a really round and really firm snowball. And then he put the snowball in his pocket. But before he went to bed, he went to go check his pocket to make sure the snowball was still there, but the snowball was gone. Peter was so sad because he wanted to see his snowball, the snowball he made. What do you think happened to the snowball? Do you think someone took his snowball? No, but there's no one else in his house. What do you think happened to his snowball? I bet it melted. Do you think it melted? I think it probably melted. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. And this is, his, is what he was dreaming about, that the sun came out and just melted all the snow. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. So not only was the snow there that he saw yesterday, but there was even more snow falling. What do you think Peter's going to want to do? I think he's going to want to go outside and play in the snow again. After breakfast... He called his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And you can see him and his friend. They're walking out in the snow, but oh my goodness. Do you see how much snow there is piled up on either side of them? On the right, there's snow. On the left, there's snow. Wow. There really is a lot of snow. Well, guess what? That's the end of today's story. Today, I read a story called The Snowy Day, and it's about a little boy named Peter who love, love, loves to go outside and play in the snow. Thank you so much for listening to today's story. This has been Barbershop Books Storytime. To learn more information about how Barbershop Books is helping support families and communities during this difficult time, please visit our website, barbershopbooks.org. You can also connect with us here, right on Facebook or YouTube. Um, until next time, bye-bye.